Welcome everyone, I would like to show you how to connect your Xbox Series S controller to your Windows 11 laptop or PC. So first of all, your laptop or PC needs to have Bluetooth. To check if you have Bluetooth, uh, at the bottom right you're going to see this upwards arrow. Click on this one and you should see here Bluetooth devices. If you do not see Bluetooth devices, what you will need to do is you will need to go onto Amazon and you will need to buy a Bluetooth dongle which you can plug into your PC and I will leave a Bluetooth dongle which I recommend in the description. There's an affiliate link so if you want to help support out the channel, make sure to check out that link and buy that dongle if you need one. So if you have the Bluetooth devices right here, you just want to click on this and then you're going to see here add a Bluetooth device. You're going to click on right here add the Bluetooth device and then you're going to be brought to this page. Now once you're on this page you're going to see pair new device with your computer name. You just want to click on add device and then you see here Bluetooth, wireless display, everything else. So from my experience even though it says here Xbox controllers this is the option it recommends I want you to just click on Bluetooth right here instead. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get your Xbox Series S controller and you're going to turn it on. It may turn on your um, console as well keep that in mind but don't worry what you're going to do is you're going to hold down the share icon and you're going to hold it down until the logo starts blinking once the logo blinks release it and you're going to see right here xbox wireless controller click on this one and then you're going to see connecting and any moment now uh, the controller will be paired with your windows computer so it seems like it says try connecting your device again so i'm going to uh, put it back into pairing mode it may have paired with my xbox so let's click on it one more time and it says try again so we'll just try that one more time add device bluetooth and we'll just click on it hopefully this time things are going to work out and there you go your device is ready to go xbox wireless controller has been connected so you saw it was a little bit buggy had to do it twice however at the end it did work if you're still having issues i recommend you restart your windows computer then go again and then everything should work eventually so hopefully this video did help you out if it did make sure to leave a like subscribe if you're brand new thanks for watching see you guys later bye bye